Hello, before we start the day, for the benefit of those who have been keeping up to date, and for those who might be new to this gaming series, which is folklore, I thought it'd be worthwhile doing a recap of what we have seen and done previously. First off, we have the prologue. In the prologue, we discover the two main characters, which are Keats and Ellen. Keats and Ellen. Keats is a journalist who works for Unknown Realms, a slightly failing magazine that needs a new story to revamp the whole idea. He got an odd phone call on the first day telling him that there would be a murder in the village of Doolin. So, he immediately travelled out there with no other leads to go by in order to find out what was going on. Our other main character, Ellen, is a 17 year old girl whose mother's left her. Receiving a letter also instructing her to go to the mysterious town of Doolin, she too has travelled there in order to find out what has happened to her mother and what her history holds for herself and who she really is. The prologue goes over how Keats gains his abilities and first enters into the Neverworld as well as the strange situation that seems to be occurring with deaths in the Doolin village. How this is short-lived as we come we run across the first murder victim and speak to her for the first time in the underworld or the neverworld this leads into what happens in chapter 1 in which we learn about we again meet the same murder victim but we also get more of the story we found out that she had a son called Herve that she had a husband called Ronaldo no relation to the Brazilian football player and that she has a daughter, Suzette, who is still alive. That their deaths have something odd linked to them. And that 17 years ago, around about the same time that the young girl Ellen was born, something mysterious happened in the village that was accompanied by a large amount of the village's deaths. In order to find out the truth of this matter, Chapter 1 had us pursuing the first murder victim. Unfortunately, most of our leads were left at that. We almost got the answer, but it was snatched from us from it by the jaws of memory. Now we know, also from chapter 1, that there is a bigger scheme of things ap afoot. That there is a fellow called the Fairy Lord that's in charge of the Neverworld. And that we finally met Bolge, the guy from the prologue, the butler, who was invisible. We finally met his mistress, a Vereri or some sort. An elf-looking woman who appears to have been in a revolutionary rebel battle with the fairy lord for many years and it seems likely that we, the messenger, will be the one who decides this battle when it comes to the final the final leg of it. But as that aside, we've discovered many more questions during this sec first chapter, but many less answers. We have at least one lead though, a man called Ryan, and that is where we are lead into in chapter 2. Now, I thought it was very interesting, we're doing chapter 2 of Keats by the way, that this game seems to allow for you to every chapter have the option to go through the corresponding chap um, characters chapter sequence per se. Now I never did Ellen's prologue but the option is available for me then to do to more or less catch up with another character if I wanted to find out the slight variance in the story that they have. But in any case, let's get back to Keats' storyline. There you go, just a quick recap of the fact Keats has gone to the fairy realm looking for answers and the truth has just been taken from him, just been taken at the last minute. So we're going to have to continue down this road until we find more truth. Also, I should mention I do the voiceovers for the characters as well. So, this whole affair started 17 years ago when, because of something a man called Ryan told them, Suzette's parents wanted to kill someone. What was the incident at the church? And is Ryan still in the village? <laughs> Reporters for occult magazines don't generally go around chasing after murder cases. But anyway, I suppose I'll ask around the village. Let's get moving. 
This should be interesting, I imagine. Now, if there's anyone that's going to be supplying for the first source of information, I imagine it's this old lady. Miss Lester, I think she's called. Yep. Ryan was a very kind. He was a decent, honest man. He died 17 years ago. Some other people died then too. Harriet must have been devastated. They were close. Right to Harriet's house then. I believe she lives in one of these houses here. So we'll... Yep, this is the one. I remember because I went in last time during uh, the chapter one and she, she just gave me no responses whatsoever. So we'll find out something now. Did you know a woman called Regine? She recently fell over the cliff and died. She must have been involved in something bad. Yes, I knew her. It seems to have begun 17 years ago with a separate incident. Other than Regine's husband, Ronaldo, the only person who's come up so far in connection with this is a man called Ryan. I was wondering if you knew about him. Ryan is dead. That was also 17 years ago. Hmm, another person dead. Were you and Ryan close? He was a kind man. What with my disability and all, he was always very helpful f to me. Did you have any memento of his? <laughs> How odd. A young lady asked me the same thing. I won't ask you why you want it. She did, eh? Interesting. Me? Well, I'm just doing a story. I already gave what Ryan entrusted me with to Ellen. I'm afraid. The pub landlord was a close friend of Ryan's, however. Right. Set off to see Ryan's. Uh, the landlord, then. It's proven to be a little bit more interesting so far, with all this running about. See, if we'd chose Ellen's storyline, we likely had not would not have met the landlord. For this memento. Let's just, let's just check him out, then. Do you know a man called Ryan? Yeah, he was a good friend. We are army mates. Was a good friend? Ryan died in the graveyard behind the church 17 years ago. Murdered. Not a single person held a grudge against Ryan. We still don't know what happened. The village wasn't deserted then? Didn't you call the police? The Samian Knight incident. Others died too, but no one wanted to dig deeper. Times like that, people just pass it off at the work of the Hag. The Hag, who was a goddess for the, from Celtic mythology. The old witch who appears in fairy tales, eh? Yar, it's the work of a supernatural being. So don't delve too deeply, they say. Ryan lived in that hut on the lighthouse keep. If you search that place, I bet you'll find something. Seventeen years have gone by and I think something is starting to stir again. I'm gonna ask quickly if he's got any quests. No, no, no. We should just give it a rest. Well, it's up to you. Ryan was close to Harriet woman in the wheelchair. I was trying to ask about a quest. I didn't want to actually start talking about Ryan. Got any quests? Don't need any favours now. God damn you, you shitty ass bastard. I just wanted an additional money on the side. Is that so much to ask for, really? Anyway, we just go to the lighthouse. Where was... The lighthouse is that way. Yeah. Kind of remember it. I remember being interested in him because there was this house on the hillside that in chapter 1 I tried to open the door to and it just said locked and I was just like, nonsense. How is it the, the lighthouse door is unlocked now when no one's got the damn key? Has finally Rust destroyed the locks? I like to think so. Did you notice that white cat by the way? Same one that hangs outside the pub? 
It's just knocking about there by the lighthouse. I think it's drawn to this stuff. Shame we can't go upstairs and rob the house. Got loads of free plates there. What's this? Acquired torn photo left half. I wonder why this was worth keeping. A picture of a child. May I just say, not obvious at all it was in there. Not like it was a glowing light or anything. Right. Seems to unlock some cut sequence here. Keats, why are you here? Same as you. Whatever Ryan said to Regine 17 years ago, it triggered a tragedy. And now Regine has been killed. Are there any clues? Only half a photo. Ah! I have the other half! What could it mean? They match! A doctor and his patient? Is this Herv, Suzette's brother? Yes, I was told that he died because of someone. Told by whom? The dead? Yes, how did you know? A reporter cannot divulge his sources. But we still don't know why Herv, Ryan and Ronaldo died, and now Regine. Just what is happening here? Um, would it be alright if I kept that photo? You know what? True, it's fine. So you need this too, eh? No problem. Take it. Thanks. It'll really help. Now that Ellen has the photo, I wonder what she'll do next. Wait in my room for night, Explore Mark. Explore a bit more. There might be something about. Oh, no, 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 no. She really slept the night. I'll talk. Anything else? Ah, oh, cocked up. I should have just waited the night and then I could have just had a quick answer to that. Now I'm going to have to go somewhere to sleep. Damn, damn it. There's nothing even worthwhile in the village. I should. Ah. Oh. Wasting you people's time now. We're going to have to do run back and forth. Absolutely ludicrous, really. I do apologise, really do. With that said, you know this might this might actually be a good place to to stop the recording. I think. You know, just before we go into the. Uh, Let's, let's sleep the night and then we'll save. Rest. Right, so we've we've caught up pretty much with what's going on. There was an incident a good long time ago. It appears a doctor's involved. Makes things mal medical malpractice, eh? Now that she's got the photo, I wonder what she'll do. If she's having the same experience as I am, though, the answer is plain. We'll go check on the henge in a moment. Now, I think we should save at the memo pad. And, we'll see you in the next show.